Hey guys, Ray from Love you RV. So for the last about five years, I've been using a, a water filtration system from a company called ClearSource. You can see it mounted on the back of the RV. Started with their two jug model and then went up to their three jug model. And uh, it's worked very well over the years. It's kept our water nice and clean. All the water going into our tanks has been filtered in three different stages. They have a sediment filter and a carbon filter and then a, a very small micron filter as a finishing filter. And I've done reviews on, on the, the two, the two uh, jug system and the three jug system. Uh, but recently, a company called Bluetech blue technology out of michigan got a hold of me and asked if i'd like to review their sort of version of this uh, what really intrigued me was how small it is it's much smaller and much more lightweight instead of using 10 inch filters it's using a a five inch filter so i said sure send it out so it was sent out to me for free um, just so you know up front and I'll actually compare it to my clear source that I've been using for years and we'll see how it does. Uh, they have a couple different models. Uh, I'm getting the pressurized one, this R3. So it's going to come with a sediment filter, what they call carbon tasty filter, and then a 0.2 micron filter to finish it. Uh, they also have a, a two-stage one here. And then they also have off-grid versions. Um, basically, one of them has a built-in pump that you apply uh, 12 volts to, and then they also have one that has even a battery on board, so it's all a complete unit. And it comes with uh, off-grid filters, so you can basically dip a hose into a lake or a river and uh, bring the water in and you know drink it right after that once it's gone through the three stages. With mine, they did send out the, the off-grid filters, so even though you have pressurized water, you can use the off-grid filters. Because I have my own water pump set up, and a lot of times I'm drawing water from different sources. So anyway, let's just take a look at, uh, look at the different models here and the pricing on it. It's mostly all made in the USA, so the prices are fairly steep, but it is quite a... a high quality build and you have stainless canisters here as you can see uh, so the bluetech r3 elite goes for 524.99 and i think we'll go down here see what the filter pricing is when you replace the filters the regular one is 49.99 for the three filters and then the off-grid ones are a little more uh, pricey it comes to sixty four ninety nine. I guess that 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 last filter is a little more specialized to deal with the uh, stuff that's coming out of lakes and streams. Anyway, it looks pretty good. So let's get it uh, out of the box, and I'll give you a close up view of it, and we'll take it all apart, and then we'll do some tests and compare the. I'm eager to uh, compare the flow rate to the clear source because the clear source is a much larger jug. So I'm interested to see what the difference is. So here we are. That is definitely small. Wow. So much smaller. And lighter. Comes in at 13 pounds. So there you go. That's the longevity filter, tasty filter, and then the final filter there. Stainless steel jugs. Case looks like aluminum, aluminum rods there. And this is kind of like a, a maybe a three printed plastic. I read one of the, I was watching one of their videos and they said there was some actual carbon fiber components as well. And then I really like this, they have a quick connects on them. Really nice. I put quick connects on my clear source right away because it was just so convenient. So there's the input and then they also have it on the output for you. Really nice, heavy duty. Looks like stainless everything. Really nice. So definitely a quality build here. Let me pull the jugs out. When you buy it, you get a set of filters already included. And then there's this handy little uh, key to open up the, the filters. I guess you go like that with the ring. Ring down like 
so drops out. There we are. Pretty thick. And just takes a little tiny filter. That'd be the sediment filter. Pull the other two out and give you a look at those filters. So that's the sediment filter. That's the first stage. Just gets rid of sand and dirt, that sort of thing. And also it will prolong the life of the next two filters by blocking out any of the bigger stuff that would clog these filters. Then there's what they call the tasty filter. <laughs> Makes your water taste better. And it has a uh, coconut and carbon in it. Here's stuff floating around in there. And then the final stage is their 0.2 micron filter. And that gets rid of all of the really small stuff like Giardia and E. coli and all the stuff that can uh, cause problems for you health-wise. And also, this being the off-grid system, there's something they've done extra to it, some kind of coating that I think the guy said they've put on it to help even uh, get rid of uh, more stuff because stuff will actually cling to that coating and not go through. So with the off-grid filter system, you can uh, basically draw water from lakes and streams. And the jugs screw in there. And looks like there's some uh, rubber seals on the top here. Cool. So let's sew it back up and we'll get to do some testing here. So for the first test, let's just hook it up to the city water connection on the RV. And then we can go in and test all the faucets and see what the pressure and flow looks like. So, hooked up to the city water connection of the RV. That flow looks pretty good. Very comparable to what my uh, water pump would do. Let's just check the bathroom faucets. Looks good. Yep, good pressure on the shower. And most important place to have good pressure. Yeah, no problem. So there you go, pretty good flow through the RV faucets. Nice quality build, so I like it that way. Nice and small, lightweight, but we should compare it to the one I've been using. Kind of do an apples to apples comparison here and give you a, a look at the differences between the two. They both roughly go for about the same price, kind of $4.99 range on Amazon, but you can see quite the size difference. This one's around 13 pounds, this one's pushing towards 30 pounds. But uh, this one has really nice, heavy, thick jugs. Um, kind of oversized jugs to try to get better flow through them. Uh, the metal case is really nice, really heavy duty metal, nice and thick. You can see where I had drilled some holes in the bottom of the metal and actually I would uh, U-clamp it to my bumper when I traveled and that worked out really good. And then of course it uses the big 10 inch filters on it. There's a sediment filter, so let me grab that. Yeah, your standard first uh, stage sediment filter. Then they go with 0.5 micron, so it's the same thing as a coconut shell carbon block technology. It reduces sediment and uh, makes it taste better, so it's sort of like the tasty filter. And then um, they do have a 0.1 micron filter, but I decided to uh, get the 0.2 micron filter. So I ordered these so we'd have fresh filters to compare directly and the same size filters. So we could do kind of apples to apples and kind of compare the flow rate. That's what I'm most interested in because I would imagine the bigger, larger jugs and filters will have a, a higher flow rate. Both have the stainless steel piping and connectors. Although this one didn't come with any quick connects, so I ended up buying my own brass quick connects to use on the end there. 
So let's get to testing. We'll compare the, the flow rate. I will simulate like I'm going to fill up my uh, fresh tank. Okay, so got it all hooked up. We're going to do a couple tests. Uh, I have a flow meter there, so we'll check that out, see gallons per minute. And then I'll actually fill this. It's about a five and a half gallon jug, and we'll see how long it takes to fill it. Um, then we can compare with the, the blue technology unit. So here we go. Turn this on. What do we got here? Looks like about 8.4 gallons per minute. 8.4. Now for the Blue Tech S3, and I'm feeding about 55 psi into either of them. I have a water regulator on the faucet just so we have the, the same amount of psi feeding. I'll have a look here. And actually looks like quite a bit lower, saying 3.2 gallons per minute right now. Okay, so we'll try the fill test on the bucket on this one as well. So as I figured, the flow rate was dramatically less with the blue tech than the clear source and that's probably just based on physics you're going to have more surface area on a larger filter and with the big huge jugs you get a lot of flow through there but you know does it matter or not well i don't think it's going to matter much when you're using it on your city water supply and when i'm filling using my water pump my water pump is a three gallon per minute and when I'm filling out of a bladder or something like that or out of a, a lake, I don't really care. I'm not really on a big time constraint. The only thing I could see this one being a problem is say you're at a dump station and you know, you're gonna fill your fresh water out of the fresh water spigot and you got a big long lineup of people behind you. Well, the, if you wanna go th with filtration, then the, the clear source is gonna be the, the winner there. You're gonna fill your tank more than twice as fast as this one. Say I have a 60 gallon tank, if this is only putting out around three gallons per minute, it's gonna take me 20 minutes. Whereas the clear source is gonna do it probably in 10 minutes or less. So that's the only really scenario I can see where the clear source has a big advantage. But on the other hand, this one has other advantages such as weight and size. So let's just go over to my basement storage and I'll, I'll show you how how the two compare as far as trying to fit it into there. Okay, so this is my storage compartment. And you can see it's uh, not as big as a lot of the newer trailers, but bigger than some trailers. And this thing fits in there no problem. I think this is about a 16 inches tall, my storage compartment. You can see this is where the compact nature of the thing really, really becomes an advantage. Also, I think a person could probably, this is a false wall, I could probably take and plumb it into my water input here if I wanted to, but I want to use it for uh, off-grid, so I wouldn't do that. But this company actually does work with some OEM manufacturers under the name of, uh, used to be No Dirty Water, that's sort of their tag name. They've kind of changed their, their main name to Blue Technology there, but I think you find them in forest rivers and certain different other models of RVs and brands. A lot of them they'll just have like a, a single stage or maybe a dual, but they'll be right as an option for, for some RVs. Anyway, let's see how the clear source looks in this compartment. So you can see it does fit, but just barely. It takes up an awful lot of room in there. So that's one of the reasons I decided to bumper mount it instead. Well, there you go. Looks like another American company making a very well built water filtration system. Uh, so if you're looking for high flow, I think ClearSource has this one beat, but if you're looking for lightweight and compact design, then this one has the ClearSource beat. So it just really depends what you like. Um, I've used the ClearSource a couple 
you know, several trips down south over the years and it's performed well. I find the filters usually last my whole trip. Usually I'm off grid maybe six months steady and uh, and I usually then just change the filters the next trip down. While I'm in BC on Vancouver Island, our water is so clear you don't even really need to filter it. So what I'm going to do is the next trip down in the fall, I'm going to take this one and um, we'll see how the filters perform given the same time period and I'll come back with an update in the spring. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers folks.